Our new home is slowly being built, but it's definitely not quite ready yet to be able to fully move in. Welcome back, everybody, to Kenshi. Welcome back. You know what is going on? We have built our place over here. I have gotten a couple more building materials out of the surrounding areas. And uh, we have built a couple of extra boxes just to deliver all the stuff that we that we had so far. So we did manage to just store all the stuff, of course, with no place where we could buy materials. This is a bit of an unfortunate position, but hey, you guys did tell me that, hey, Coco, feel free to buy food when you need it. It's all good, you know, we are this far in, so yeah, it's all good. So we are allowed to buy food, and in fact, I'm gonna actually go buy a bit more food because we are gonna go on an adventure, and it's gonna feel good buying the food. Now, I did sell a couple of these extra materials, and I'll tell you exactly why I did that. When I say materials, I mean equipment. Because we got some new, Damus went and he checked all the houses around here, well, those that we can steal from, mainly the police station and the other storage area down there. And in the police station, he got some extra equipment. So we have this dark samurai armor, samurai armor high grade on my boy Simo now. So he's got that. Uh, let's see, we have some more stuff. Kimono's got herself a new helmet. Uh, Miva is wearing this mercenary plate and these plated long boots. This plate used to belong to Glint. Glint is wearing the rags now. And I believe Unrio is full on in samurai, but just standard grade, but he's got samurai armor. So we got some extra stuff. I put some stuff in, you know, between people. Just mixed and match a bit, and that was about it. And that, nothing too special happened in between. So what is the goal for today's episode? Well... Our goal is to go on an adventure. So we're gonna go well, into the Outlands and all that stuff. But first, I think we're gonna go Stormgap Coast. There is a village down here somewhere that is uh, occupied a bunch of cultists that are dangerous and they are wanted. Wanted by United Cities as well. I think their main cult is like 40k or something like that. And they do have a couple of Meitu blades out there. May two hackers actually, not the blades we really need because we have Brink with a hacker that's a May two and Miwa with a hacker that's a May two, so not that useful. But you know they're out there and that's that's important, right? And we we really need to go after those crazy people. Those crazy people are crazy people. Now I think we're gonna go down this this way first that's gonna be our goal and I totally am not carrying them Steve's as I should because <clears throat> that's gonna make us very very much faster if I carry the Steve's so let's go down there boys although this Steve can move pretty fast now because he is he's learning and his backpack is giving him really good movement speed so that's that's a bonus but this Steve is of course still slow he is he is tough you know he even got a bit more HP which I do appreciate you know Always need that extra HP since he is such a such a tiny little boy. Other than that, we are if you look at our stats, we are definitely getting up there, you know? Damus got some really good precision shooting and crossbow skills now, and his helmet is boosting that up even more. Harm is over 50 over here. Jack is 60 melee attack even. Uh, 51 defense. Glint is over 50. We have Samayo lagging behind a bit, but her uh, weapon is so heavy that, you know, she's slower on leveling that up. Simo is over 50. Kira got 52 attack. We got 63 defense and Brink, which is pretty freaking strong. Koth is up to 42 martial arts. He's got some crossbow skills as well. What else we have? Miva. She's getting up to the 50s as well. Unit is pretty crazy with 62 melee attack and 59 melee defense. He's he's pretty freaking strong. Gallo is over 50. Luna is getting into the 50s. So is Ishi closing in. Gunnar is almost there as well. And Rio got 53 melee defense. Kimono is in the 40s. Murasaki is in the 50s. And Locke is almost to the 50 martial arts, which is pretty good. And Hammer is in his 40s. So we have definitely leveled up. Uh, across the uh, couple of the final episodes or the last episodes out here so we're we're definitely getting out there you know we're getting stronger although i would i would consider 50s i would consider that mid game 
You know, we are now in the mid game. Yes, I know we've been playing for quite a while now. It's going to be soon 100 days in. And I consider us now being in the mid game. But, you know, we were very slow to level up, uh, especially from the start, because we just didn't have enough people that could train. You know, we couldn't go into combat because that's the easiest way to level up is to go into combat get your ass smacked up smack some people and if you play the way we play with the stronger group combat and you know more people out in the world that means that every group you encounter has a lot more people that you can possibly take you know take on so to even preserve us and survive we had to be very careful and mostly rely on our stealth early on but now we'll be able to get into more fights although as we get down here you know to the uh, southeast region enemies down here are way stronger than we are and you've seen in the last episode when we we're fighting those screamer units we just couldn't end them you know they were just too strong even though we have really good weaponry and such we just couldn't get our asses in there so uh, you know it's important that we go down here and fight enemies uh, not big things, thank you for that. Screw those guys. Uh, fight enemies that are going to be tough. Tough to deal with, tough to defeat. And that we will potentially lose to. Uh, like those big things right there. But we have Black Dog Boys. And those are like smugglers or something like that. And then hopefully those will run into big things. And have fun with them. Now I never really understood the way Black Dogs, black dogs were super supposed to work the reason for that is you see them down here you know they're, they're traveling traders smugglers something like that right but they do have like I never actually managed to trade with them with those caravans they don't really have an option to trade they're not exactly caravans I don't know what they are uh, just traveling boys and they have one place right here in the outlands like here I think it's like where their home base is, and you can't really do anything there. Like, if you get there, they will uh, say, hey, what the fuck are you doing over here? Get out, or we'll fight you. And then they will fight you. I see more big things out there. I, like, I know we can deal with the big things, but they're just so obnoxious, and I don't want to do it. It's, they're just not worth it. You know, and I've dealt with so many big things in the last series that I really can't be asked to get in there. Like adults, fine, they're adults, you know. But uh, they have a nest over there. That's, that's something. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to fight some eventually because they're just everywhere out here. We did choose the path that would lead that lead us down here. Koth, I'll need you to go unranged. And here they come. Okay. Everybody hold. Stand here. Put animals down. Koth and Damus, you guys shoot. And then we're gonna go unit. Get off of hold. Get for Go for this one. Who else is our tank? Brink. Go for this one. I need somebody else with a taunt. Y'all hot him. You go for this one. Mm, Ishii, your weapon deals extra damage to animals, right? Yes. Might as well have you go there. Okay, so you guys go in there. Uh, we have one more coming from the side. Jack. So you go in here. Do not squat up over here, boys. Do not squat up. Spread around. That's how you deal with big things. You spread and you fight. Ishii's having some issues. Bring got hit for a lot. Bring get in there, dude. And otherwise the rangers will do their everything they can to destroy them. I'm not gonna bring more people in here because there's no real need. We can do this, boys. We can do this. I guess I could send Locke in here just to train his uh, skills a bit. Locke, punch that thing in the in the ass. Don't get hit. You got hit. Not what I wanted. Come on, just go down, dude. Okay. Bring to care of one. Okay, that's nice. Lock is going to help there. That one is done. You see, now they're stacking up and they're all going to get hurt. You see, this is why you don't want that. So you two get back there. Hot him. Get back there. Bring in unit. You guys take care of this. And I guess we have Ishii still here. Alright, good stuff. 
everybody off of hold. Let's do this. Good. Unit, I guess you get to loot these bastards. I don't like these goddamn beakers. They're obnoxious. I guess we could take some of that as well for our uh, doggo. You know, our, our little doggy. Could use that. My boy Steve. Ishi is not having fun right now. Go over here. Ishi, how do you always injure your goddamn leg? How do you manage that every single time? Every single time there's a fight, you do it. Drifter's boots. We need to get you better boots. We need to give Ishii better boots. Or something like that. Uh, I already forgot who was looting stuff. Was it Unit? Yeah, Unit. Give all of this to our doggy. I know he's not a doggy. But uh, we can consider him to be a doggy. Looks like the grass pirates decided to attack this United Cities village. Mm, I would want to fight them, but not in here. Not over here, because I hear this. I hear this harpoon turret. That thing would kill our own people, because they would miss, and I don't want that. None of that, you guys fight them. I wouldn't mind otherwise, but I'll pass. Thank you. You can see these guys are losing limbs because of that. So what do we have out here? We have a... This is a farming village. We have a bar. We have travel gear. Some barracks and residential areas. And a farm shop. So nobody that would have materials, huh? Which is unfortunate. Well, but we are allowed to buy food now, so that's good. Oh, look. That's a dark hiver. We could potentially recruit you. You wonder if there's any... Any boys you can talk to? Okay, uh, not right now. Uh, talk to you about, you know, finding more legendary weapons, because we haven't found any in a while now, so... I wouldn't mind, you know, getting more tips about that. I think we're good on food now for a while. So, finally, I don't need to worry about that anymore. So you have travel gear. Just uh, take a look if you could buy something for our robot spider friend. Nope, not this one. Robot spider, no. I think this one is just unique. Oh, it's a large backpack. This spider is just so unique that it just doesn't work for him, you know? I wonder if got her backpack. Because he's, he's a special boy. He's a very special boy. I'm just I'm just trying everything now. Because <laughs> it would be nice having him wear that. Maybe a crimper backpack for you, no? Alright, well, fair enough. Let's get out of here. So that's fine. None of that then. It's okay. Pick up. Pick up. Is she? Is she's down to 19 uh, already? Or up to 19, so he's good. Now this village is going to be somewhere along this coast, somewhere up here, so we're going to continue onwards. I believe there is a lake over here. You guys are going to swim. And there's some grass pirates that we're going to go for. Who are they attacking? A bone dog of the free traders. Now, that we cannot allow that. We cannot possibly allow that. I think they're going to come for us. So you know what? Let's wait for them over here. Coffee don't need to be ranged. Oh, there's no need to swim over here. How nice is that? How nice is that? All right, let's go get them, boys. Let's go get them. Grassy Pyrotinius. Bring swing that sword. Nice. Steve is... Steve is getting big. My boy Steve. He's a teenager now, but... He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Go get him, Steve. We bought you when you were still a small, tiny baby. But now you're a man. Now you are a real man. Murasaki's uh, saber seems so small in his big hands. That's interesting. But he is, he's a proper Northern Raider now. I like him. Ooh. There you go. Eat these guys. Steve's, where are you going? No, no, that's okay. That's okay, you don't need to. Actually, this Steve could hunt them down while they're swimming, right? But he's slow. He's very slow. You guys smack these fools? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, that guy's jumping. Steve, you going for him or are you going for the one swimming? Just go over here. 
Oh, this is a this is a tech hunter. Never mind then. Let's uh, let's not, boys. Let's not. Let's get back over here. Squat up over here. See when it's fine. Let's not walk to the to the waters. Yeah, let's uh, just get everybody over here, and we'll be fine. Look at Steve go. Such a Steve. He's an elder. An elder Steve. I like that. And he's good Steve because he does not need to eat. His HP is not very, you know, good, but otherwise he's a he's a good pet. He's a good dog. Or a pet. Whatever. Onwards, my friends. Ooh, looks like these guys might have a camp out here. And doesn't look like they have anybody left. Yeah, that was grass pirate stuff. Okay, fair enough. Onwards, as I said. There it is, just ahead of us. It's the nasty village we were talking about. So, let's take a look over here. These guys have nasty cleaving weapons. And the Moon Guardians stuff have, does have quite the stats, I gotta admit. These guys have quite the stats, indeed. And there's a lot of them. I don't know if I'm confident, as confident, as I was just a moment ago. Because there truly is a lot of them. Hmm. Now what would be the best way to, the best way to deal with multiple enemies like this? Well, we utilize our range boys. Put everybody on hold. Damus and Koth, let's get you over here. Koth, you got we uh, ammo? You do. Discover black scratch from here? Oh well, it's not that far, yeah. Let's uh, attack the Moon Guardian. Moon Guardian Leviosa. Right, I didn't put you on ranged, of course. That seems smart. Moon Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. Alright, let's get you guys in here. And you guys get off hold. Smack them. Smack the fools. That guy is just down. Good job. Good job, ranged boys. So these guys have hacker weapons. Preacher Cult is now hostile to you. Oh no, the horror. Whatever will we do? But they do have crappy weapons. Do have shoddy great stuff. Is she still is carrying that Maguro Kiri? I have not decided yet if I want to give it to him. You guys probably cannot reach anybody. Ah, oh, there's the farmers out there now. Even the farmers got some skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the farmers got some stuff going on for them. So you can see Damus has got quite the crossbow skills now. And that's mostly because of his helmet. Steve, you get that one. Okay. Let's get you boys off of hold. Let's do the smacking over here. As long as they don't run in there, this is fine. You know, we'll deal with everybody over here. And then we'll uh, then we'll run in there, right? Ha hammer, yeah, right, my boy. Let's put you in hold. Let's put you there. Oh, there's uh, oh, there's a couple more coming. There's a couple more coming. Let's smack these fools. No, no, unit, you're good over here. I know you. I did say attack all, but let's just uh, deal with the ones that are coming over here. As I said, don't go too far in there. Just take care of these Mungardian Leviosas over here. There is a thing. These guys are not well geared. Right? So uh, they go down pretty quickly. And a lot of them are hivers. Hive drones, in fact. I believe uh, the main preacher is a hive drone as well. So. There's that. Okay, let's pull you guys over here. Let's get you guys off of hold. And let's smack. Smack these fools. Nice, nice. Tell me if one of the big boys come. I think they have one Praetorian or something like that. Isn't there one Praetorian I think in here? I guess depending on the, the mods that you use, right? So we gotta be careful. I mean... Some of the worst. Who are you? There's bounty hunters over here. Apparently there's a bounty hunter dog over here. Keep on smacking, boys. Keep on smacking. Oh, yeah. Stone of the Preacher's Cult. 
That ain't gonna go well for you. Good job, my boys. Good job. Let's pull you back a bit. That would be the bounty hunters, right? These guys are one of the most badass boys ever. They're looting the dead. Simo? I left you on hold, unfortunately, and so did I do with har ha Harem. Ha ha harem. Now, I don't want these guys looting the dead that I kill. I mean, sure, you do some of that, but hey. You gotta admit, these guys look freaking badass. With those weapons? Yeah. And that weapon. And that weapon. Oh yeah, bounty hunters. I mean, we are bounty hunters as well. And yes, we do look badass. If you look, just look at these two dudes, right? Freaking badass. Both Scorchlanders as well. Interesting. A lot of my rangers are Scorchlanders. You guys want to find? There you go. There you go. Protect your leader. Protect your leader. Oh, this guy is a bit beef here. Bombing him. The preacher cult. Bombing him. What did he say? You fuck with me, you... Something, something. The aim has got hurt a bit. Nothing too serious, though. Steve, show them. Show them how it's done. Bandage him up, they say. Okay, Rangers... This is working really well, because Rangers are just pulling more people. And... They're coming here one we want, and then our boys go in there and smack them. Smack them, boys, smack them. Give them them smacks. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, you guys are beefy. Hey, none of that. None of that. Get out of here. Get out of here. I see some red there. I don't like that red. But it's nothing too serious, right? Nothing too serious. Okay, Damus, who are you aiming at? Uh, where's my boy called? There he is. Yeah, some of these guys are gonna be waking up, but we'll we'll deal with them as they come. No worries. Just need to find the preacher and his main dude. Look at Miva, just holding that giant thing in one hand. How heavy is that thing? I think it's 24 kilos. Well, she's got exactly the strength for it, pretty much. And you guys have nothing to shoot at right now. Imagine that. Oh, sorry. I interrupted your uh, hunt. I think that was most of them then. There's definitely going to be a lot in here still, but uh, we took care of most of these guys outside. All right, are you pulling more? No, just taking care of that guy. Good. Ishi, come over here. Let's uh, let's get everybody in then. We're gonna we're gonna go into the base proper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The big house over here is gonna have plenty of people. And in fact, there's one guardian up here. You know, he's a moon guardian after all, so. That's what he's supposed to do. Let's have everybody stay here. Damus and Koth, let's have you back over here. You're shooting at that guy. I mean, that's fine. Let's have Unit. Unit's gonna do the pull-in over here. He's gonna run in here and everybody's gonna be like, Hey, what are you doing here? He's gonna be like, yeah, I like you. Okay, there's the Preacher. He's got the big sword. That's a May 2 blade. Otherwise... Learn to put on some pants, dude. He's got some. This guy's got some abs. That's nice. It's nice. Ponzum stinks. Ah, the Crescent Guardian. Okay, so he he is a uh, he's a dark hiver with a May to that uh, moon sickle or whatever that, that is. He's not a Praetorian, but I knew that he's a big boy. So these two are the only dangerous guys over here. The rest are just the the OG boys. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? I am unit. I am unit. Get over here. Okay. Off of hold. Moon's almighty. Make it rain. Smack does big boy. Wait, did he go down in one hit? I think it might have been a couple of hits, but yeah. He did go down right there. Wow, that was impressive. Now, where's my uh, preacher boy? He's not gonna stand for long either. He's gonna go down pretty fast as well. Probably already did, unless he's still waiting in here for Shamaya to come in. Is the Breacher still here? No, he must have gone out. Didn't even see him drop. No, yeah, everybody's going out. Looks like there's some of them back here. Ishi, since you're the slowest right now, go look, loot this guy. 
May 2, Moonsicle. Nice. I wish they would have some better gear, but hey. These martial arts are crappy now. Uh, but it's okay. This is unfortunately a hacker class. That we don't really need to give hackers to anybody, I don't think. Although, Brink used to have that weapon. Maybe we'll give that to Brink. We'll see. We will want to bring him with us, because he has a bounty with United Cities. So, there you go. And now we have to find the Preacher as well. Wherever he is. I think that would be the man. Only 15k, huh? It's not that mad. That match? Not that much. And there it is. A Moon Cleaver May 2 Blade. I like this. This one really has like 3 in total in damage. The really good blood loss. Armor penetration is not that good. It's got that attack bonus. You know. I don't know if you're gonna use it. And then this hacker is also pretty freaking cool. This any good? No, just standard grade. Just standard grade, unfortunately. So yeah, these two we'll bring back with us. And you guys are good, right? Okay, Damus, you're allowed to get off of hold. Uh, you can grab the Crescent Guardian. Glint, get in here. You will. Uh, you'll grab the Preacher. There you go. Is it that? Actually, Damus, you drop that, man. We'll want somebody else grabbing him, like Jack. Jack, pick up the Guardian. Okay. And some of you go first aid that Guardian so he survives. And he's put into the prison as he's supposed to be. But no longer hostile, huh? Mm. About that, I don't know how that's gonna go. And we need to heal the Preacher as well. Or else he's gonna die. Let's first aid the Preacher. Good. All right, we're all good. We have the preacher, we have the crescent guardian, and we have these guys. How dare you attack us? Oh, nice one, nice teleport, Simo. Uh, I do appreciate that. But we wanted to go in there anyway because we do want to go loot this place, right, Simo? You you want to move? He wants to move. Okay. They're now hostile to us. Oh no, the horror. So we're gonna loot this see what we can find i don't know if there's anything like really really useful well food is always useful uh okay okay now we're also looking for building materials hey what do you want moonin simo don't you guards me don't you dare guards me we are the new guards over here i heard steve steve did his uh robot noise attack thing let's grab that doesn't look like there's any building materials out here but who knows you know you never know what these guys might be hiding in their uh boxes nothing there just freaking parchment water i mean you do need water but come on dudes you could have got me something better looks like cod has found somebody to shoot Ooh, very nice who says we need to buy food we don't need to buy food. But yes, you know. Uh, I don't remember exactly who said this, but it was an amazing point. They're saving each other. Okay, that's nice to see. It was an amazing point when somebody said, you know what? Uh, you go for these bounties, right? The Ronin go for the bounties, and they bring them in. They uh, kind of put their lives in danger just to do that, you know, to keep everybody safer. And if then they come back they come back home right and they buy food they give money to the local economy and that will also help the farmers and everybody so you know that definitely does make sense and i like the reasoning behind this because it, it does make sense but you know in the meantime these guys just want to give us food as well which is really nice of them because we definitely want some of that or all of that you to have it. You know, you'd say these guys are just nice farmers. Done nothing to anybody, but you would be wrong. The preacher has corrupted their minds. Maybe, sure, uh, like them on their own, they were fine, but the preacher was the man that corrupted them. And now it's too late for these guys, and that's why we have to go for them. There's just uh, no other way. And they would have defended their preacher to the last. So we had to fight through them just to get 
the preacher just to help them you know we are basically helping them oh press save instead of speed up smart and you'll fail the like pick pick lock lock pick there you go i don't know why but lately let's let's say in the last maybe 10 episodes or so the saves got kind of weird you know usually when you press save it just said saving and then game is saved but now it says saving and then just disappears for a bit and then it takes a bit and then it pops up as okay the game has actually been saved so it takes like twice as long as even, or even more to do what it did before so i'm kind of concerned why it's going on what is going on uh the thing is also that uh, I, I should probably reinstall Kenshi because I still have it installed on my old SSD and since then I got a new SSD that was I mean I got the new SSD for Black Friday which is now almost over half a year ago and I still haven't reinstalled Kenshi. I reinstalled everything but Kenshi in RimWorld since those were the games that I constantly played and I never felt like, okay, I'm not playing this now, I should reinstall it and I've never done it and I don't know why but it's mostly because of all the mods and all that stuff that I have and reinstalling those is also can be a pain in the ass so I really probably should do that, right? It's stupid not to do it and also it's stupid not to bring with you extra bolts because my boy is now running out of bolts, but I guess we're fine. Uh, we could go to the factory over here, but truth be told, I don't really want to go play with a million uh, skeleton spiders. Because they will fuck us up in many ways, shapes and forms. So how about we just run to the black scratch over here, go check their library there, and then go back to Brink and deliver the people that we have to deliver and maybe at black scratch we could buy some building materials if they have to sell them oh look it's the reavers i didn't even notice them i was doing some trading between our boys and it looks like the reavers attacked us which is gonna be a pain in the fucking ass because these guys are strong they are very strong okay uh let's do this boys let's play with the reavers then Let's play with the freaking Reavers. Attack all, please. Alright. This is gonna be something. Now, good thing is their weapons and armor should be pretty crap. So that's a bonus for us. And their slaves are not really something we should be afraid of. Because uh, Koth is just gonna kick them in the ass, right? Good job, Koth. And go back to shooting stuff. You wanna go back to shooting stuff? Go back to shooting stuff, thank you. Good. But I think we can win this, even though they have like 70s and 80s in stats. This would be great training for us. And in fact it is, look, these guys have 70s. This guy's got 30, this guy's got 50, 80 there, but they're down. And that definitely gives us a lot more training than fighting, I don't know, even those that we fought earlier. So, oh, you're still on hold, huh? Sorry, screw you all. Who says that? Yeah, good, you run. Reaver slaves, you are definitely feel free to run. Let's see if these reavers have anything useful on them. It was a slave. Yeah, this is all shoddy grade and crap. Hmm. Not like that. Yeah, shoddy grade and crap. You don't need your healing kits. They would want us to be their slaves. Well, good luck with that. Although, of course, if you're running a couple more of these groups, it's gonna start being painful. Ishi's leg is now definitely wrecked, so that's a bonus. Jack? Eh, no, we have Locke. We have Locke. Locke can carry Ishi. Yellow, you're using these samurai boots, right? But your legs are fine. Let's do this. Well, this is only like 40% protection. I mean, this is 40% protection as well, so... Sure. Ishi's got new legs. Gallo's got new legs. Get protected, dude. Or something. I don't know what to tell you. Onwards to Black Scratch, boys. Uh, we're not carrying Steve. Because we are carrying one of the Preacher boys, right? 
Jack he's carrying, Glint is carrying, Damus is carrying and Locke is carrying. Hammer, if you pick up Steve you should be fine, right? No, you're not. Okay. Yeah, you're actually pretty overwhelmed already. Who else? Simo. Oh, it's definitely gonna be Koth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koth can easily do this. There you go. Good job, boys. Oh, I did give Brink uh, the Moon Cleaver because I just love the Moon Cleaver. It's such a cool looking weapon. It's way better looking than Long Cleaver, right? Moonsicle is also very cool. But uh, Miva has got her very own unique weapon that definitely just totally fits her. So she should keep that one. And looks like nobody wants to go to Black Scratch. So fuck that then, I guess. Hello, Black Scratch boys. We're here. Unfortunately, it's night time. So we can't really go buy anything. We have a farm shop. That's the bar. This is the great library. Robotics workshop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We can get our... Uh, our uh, boy is repaired over here. Where you going? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? Why don't you run around like crazy, okay? Let's see. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, Jack. Right, you are carrying somebody. Let's let's not do that. You're carrying that one. Glint is carrying somebody. Samaya, you're not carrying anybody. Go fix yourself. So we'll do the repairs over here. And uh, when the morning comes, we will also buy some stuff. Look at that, boys. There is a retired tech hunter, Rue. That might be our legendary man that we're looking for. Oi, mate. Oi, you there. Yeah, you. Heck, come here and have a seat. Says a stinky, blurry, burly old man who is clearly quite drunk. Can I help you, old man? Hey, ain't that old? He reflects for a moment. Oh, wait, I am old. He says with a huge smile on his face and begins to laugh. Okay, then. You have fun now. Bye-bye. No, no, no. Wait, listen, listen. Come tell stories with me. I'll buy you the booze. It's on me. No worries, no worries. Okay? Well, I can't turn on free booze. All right, old man. Time passes the two. You exchange tales of danger and glory. Holy shit, old man. You've seen some shit in your days. I know, right? The old tech hunter says in an oddly sober voice. It would seem that he's sobering up, yet we haven't start stopped drinking. Strange. It tells you what. He spaces out for a solid 15 seconds. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's where I was. Oh, right, okay. Since you was so nice to listen to these here old man stories, I gotta tell you a secret. A ruins that just has to have a good treasure in it. Ooh, okay. But if it's got treasure in it, why haven't you looted it yet? You say suspiciously. Well, there's this ruins, he says in a very sober tone. My boys and I were walking along this cliff one day on a hunt, and we saw this large group of hungry bandits. Had to be damn near a hundred of them. Biggest group I'd ever seen. They may be trash at fighting, but with those numbers and iron clubs, they are forced to be reckoned with nonetheless. So, they must have been st starving real bad, as is their way. It would seem because they thought uh, it was a worthwhile idea to search these ancient ruins for some food. Like an ancient ruin would have any food, am I right? Well, these morons start banging on the door and we decide to stay and watch, because there may be some good loot in there. After that door comes down, the bandits run in, and all we hear is screaming for 60 whole seconds, and blood pouring out the doorway. Three of those poor bastards tried running away, but there were skeletons inside, and they chased those bandits down like their electronic lives depend on it. Slaughtered all hundred, down to the last one. Holy shit, I wonder what is in there. Just gotta have it. I gotta. Yeah, <laughs> I know what a feeling. Well, I suggest you avoid that place, not for the risk, but I suppose if you got a team of skilled warriors, perhaps you might just stand a chance. Well, spit it out, old man. Where the hell is this place? He looks at you as if you were a madman. Oh, well, sure, if you want to go get yourself killed or something. He starts making hand motions. From this city, you'll want to head east until you get to the ocean. From there, just follow the coast south. You gotta done see three. He holds up three fingers, put them in your face clumsily, then poses again as he forgot what he was talking about. Three what? Huh, all right. He finishes off his sock and burst. You're gonna see three of those old giant pillar things from the old world. You'll know, you'll know when you see them. The strange vault will be right there. The old man folds his arms on the table and lays his head down and starts mumbling nonsense. And something about a bone dog in love with a garo. Well, he seems out of it. I wonder if he's full of shit or this place really exists. Hell yeah, boys! We got ourselves another uh, ruin out there. So, he says, head east until you hit the ocean and just keep on heading south. I wonder how far south. There's got to be some of those pillars out there. We'll definitely go hunt for that. Not in this episode. In this episode, we'll bring back uh, the two boys that we're carrying with us. 
uh, for bounty because we don't really want to carry those with us but in the next one we're definitely going for it there's no question about that there's the crescent guardian i wish he had some good loot this is really cool i i love this i love this now i send people to heal up here and it does seem like most of them have healed up ishi is fixing his leg slowly and we are carrying all the other boys so that's good that's very much acceptable. Now, it's going to be morning soon. The place is going to start opening. Ooh, there's a fight. Dogs? I just bone dogs ran in. Well, that's, that's not smart, dogs. That's not smart. I mean, I appreciate you trying, because you, you kind of have to try if you want to survive. But, uh, you know, it's only going to go well for you. I'm going to let Ishi be in that bed for a bit longer. So we have Tech Hunter Shop. They are not going to be selling uh, building materials there. We know that. Farm Shop. We have also learned that that's not going to be it. But there's a mechanical shop over here. Those guys should have the goods that we're looking for. Right, boys? Let's uh, go talk to them, Damus. My favorite customer. Let's trade. They've got the deals. They got the deals. They got the goods. All right. So, we need 10 of these to build our, um, what's it called, research bench. We need 10 of those. Uh, we could use 5 more for a later on upgrade as well. So I think you need 5, but we can go get that later on. Then we need at least... Two building materials for, uh, let's see, we need one chest that's not built, I, I think we have like two chests that have not been built yet, but I'll just grab as many of these as we can, because I do want to get, uh, you know, I want to make it a bit homely, I want to build like proper beds in there, I want to put on some walls and something like that, you know, just our home where there is no home or something like that you know we'll do that so uh let's uh put some more stuff on people's there you go you can carry that uh lock you want to carry something there you go Rasaki. you get to carry some of the stuff as well for me right there you go and uh who's got a big backpack you get two more we'll buy this as well i know we're now buying stuff which i said we're not going to be buying but i think yeah, we're, we're this far into the game. It's it's fine, because it's not like we're actually building a, a city, right? Ishi, join us, buddy. We're gonna go out there, onwards to glory. There's a lot of these dudes. I'm so excited that we got another tip for a legendary weapon. That's That really is the most one of the most fun things we can do out here. I love that. I really love looking for old treasures and ruins and all that stuff. So that's really good. I'm happy. I'm happy, but before we get to back to Brink, which is not far, we do have to go through this territory that uh, the Reavers love to uh, traverse and explore. So we gotta be careful about that, right? Right, Tech Hunters? Right. So, onwards to glory. There's the Black Dog HQ that I was talking about earlier in the episode. You can see it's locked. My boy Damus can probably easily unlock it. But then they have this... Uh, building in here but if you get in here they will be mad at you and I've never seen that place open so I don't know I usually get in there and then uh, they are mad at me and then I slaughter them and I steal their stuff and then I feel bad because they never really tried to hurt me before so if you guys know what exactly they are supposed to be in this here world uh, let me know okay because uh, I would like to learn more about them and they just feel like, you know, they've been added for flavor over here, but it don't actually do anything in the world, right? Anyway, uh, just just lately, there's been a new Kenshi 2 update on the, their monthly update uh, for Kenshi that they do on Steam. And, you know, they post it on Twitter and I think their forums as well. So if you are following that, there's been some cool news about uh, how Unreal Engine 4 that they're using is making the, their process of building the world so much better and easier and how the world itself is going to be so much better for loading screens that we are now running into for uh, all the foliage and all that stuff you know it's only going to be that big of a problem like it is right now in the swamps 
and the pathing path they're working with new nav mesh for that and all that stuff so it's gonna be much better no more people running into the into the sky or you know having crazy pathing path issues to be honest if there's not gonna be any pathing path issues i don't know if that's still gonna be kenshi <laughs> if there's not gonna be any loading screens like that i don't know if that's still gonna be kenshi you know <laughs> i'm just joking of course it's gonna be so there's some really good news and uh, they've been saying like uh, they are very excited by the uh, the reveal of Unreal Engine 5 that uh, has been you know just recent and that they are thinking about you know that if it's gonna be an easy port from Unreal Engine 4 to 5 that they will you know there's a good chance that they might go for it if it's an easy port and you know if it's gonna be easy and if it's gonna make sense to do it so we might actually see kenshi 2 in unreal engine 5 which would be crazy to be honest because there's some really really cool looking stuff they can do with that and i'm very very excited about kenshi uh, 2 now because the world is going to be it's the world itself is going to be bigger it's going to be it's going to feel even more alive than it does right now because you know when this world was first being made it was made by one person only now there's a whole team working on it right and working on it from the scratch sure kenshi had uh, a team working in, on it at the end but at the start there's only just one person so you know that was that was a big thing and uh it's it's, it's just gonna be good i know it's just gonna be good so i'm i'm very excited about this and i hope you guys are too because <laughs> you know kenshi is love kenshi is life that's just the way it is now let's go cash in those prisoners. Uh, who has them? Glenn, you have one as well, right? Jack and Glenn. Jack and Glenn. There we go. Armor storage has been done. Marsaki's adding some more materials. Uh, who has them? Hammer. Hammer be an engineer as well. Lock. Lock be an engineer. Marsaki is already being an engineer. Uh, who else? In Rio? Gunnar. Gunnar be an engineer. Okay. Now these two, let's have you go to the police. This is the sound of the police. All right, Jack, turn in your man. Take him. There you go. And uh, Glint, you'll do the same as soon as he comes down. General storage chest complete. Good. Talk to the man. Take him. There you go. The preachers are gone. Perfect. They're in the prison now, as they should be. It's where they belong, because they did bad things to peoples. Uh, his bounty... Oh, he's only... He's gonna get out of the jail, actually. 200 hours. Unless he's sold to slavery before that. Why is this guy over here? Oh, he's wanted by the Holy Nation. Cool. You're free to go. Look, they left this uh, Blackbeard Pirate go. Uh, where is the Preacher, actually? Where'd you throw the Preacher? Because I don't see him. Oh, that's kind of strange. Uh, who are you? A samurai bowman that lost a limp. Well, he's gonna be a town guard, so that's important. Who's fighting down here? Ah, these guys don't need my help. Now, my boy Steve should have more of these. So, go grab those. Everything else has been built, right? Very nice, very nice. Uh, so, with the cloth that we have... Would you please chill, boys? I appreciate that. With the cloth that we have, which we don't have any in here, but we have... Let's see, we have three cloth on Gunnar, and we have some more cloth in here. With that, we can start building some beds. So we can heal up. So that's two, four, six, seven. That's not, that's not even two beds, but I think we have a couple more over here. So grab this one, and uh, let's dismantle this one, and let's dismantle this one. I'm gonna put some beds in there, in the corner. Nice, it has been built, good. Let's grab these sleeping beds. Yep, and we're gonna do the camp beds, maybe upstairs now. Let's put these ones over here. Uh, turn it around though. Turn around, camp bed. 
No, 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 turn around. Go do it, Gunnar. And down below, down below, we'll start building some. Did I not research beds yet? I might have not researched beds. And that's okay. We can do that. Easy money. Uh, we have all our books in here. That's the books. That's the AI course. I don't know if you're going to use the AI course quite yet. Not quite sure. Because they are such a great way to train our strength, you know. <laughs> such a great way. Sure, it does take a while, but there's still a great way to do it. Okay. We have some limbs. Appreciate that. And now that we're down south, we'll be able to go hunt down for some more limbs. And also hunt down for the place where we can lose our limbs. If you, if you get my meaning. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, research. I need beds. Research that. Good. Throne, not quite needed. Mm, tech level 3 we can do. Uh, that's not really needed. Crafting, we're not gonna do crafting, we said. Mounted crossbows that we could put up here could be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool, actually. Let's unlock that. Uh, we don't need stuff over here. Fruit stone mining. No, nothing over here. Nothing over here. Well, we could unlock armor crafting so we can uh, see how it looks uh, if we do ooh, if we do those uh, Outlander stuff, right? And we probably we're gonna need a weaponsmith if we try their weapons. So we're gonna do that. And I know we had somebody already doing the research. So who is my best scientist? Glint is at eight. Okay, it looks like Miva of the Mists is our smart lady. Miva. Let's get rid of that. Miva, let's have you do some of that research. We're going to get beds and we're going to plop the beds down here. That's going to be the first thing. We, go. we can now build beds. I also started working on uh, small wind generators because apparently the power over here isn't that good. So, yeah. We're going to probably need to do some of that ourselves. Let's build our first two beds. You need four fabrics and one building material for that. And we do have all of this. So let's confirm that one. And I believe Marsaki or Gunnar has all this. Who had that? Yeah, there you go. Gunnar. Gunnar had all of that. So that will be brought over here. Fabrics, please don't glitch through the wall. I'd appreciate that. It's going to be fine. And we did deliver the rest of the goods in here. So we have some of this extra stuff in there. And oh, you know what? This backpack. I need this backpack. Because this backpack is full of books as well. So let's go and drop those in here. I forgot about this one. Hey, it's, it's nice. Perfect. Now I'll put that there as well. Might as well be there. Okay, good. How's my beds going? They're being built, and Miva is doing the research, which is nice. Uh, I think she is... I don't know if she's slower because we don't have the full-on power that we needed for this. But... Mm, it doesn't say... Wait, the research bench 2 doesn't need the power yet, of course. The research 3 bench, I think it needs it, but not the 2. I guess... I don't remember, It's it's been a while, you know? Since we used research, since we just didn't have any research over here <laughs> at all. Oh man, I, I want to use the sword. Uh, so, who's going to be the toughest man that could potentially do that? So it would be Unrio. He has, uh, of course, the waterfall right now. And we have Gunnar with the tenderizer as well. He's strong. Gunnar is strong as well. Hammer is still lagging behind a bit on that one. But one of those guys... Maybe on Rio. That would, of course, mean that we would have to uh, make sure he has some better armor so he stays up. Now, we do also have the Spike Cannibal, which also does a crazy amount of damage. But for both of these, 
this one we need 96 strength on somebody. For this one we need uh, 88 strength. Somebody to wield it properly. You know? But having both of these would be crazy. This one is too heavy. Like 68 kilos. It does crazy blunt damage. Yes. But that's that's pretty heavy. You know? Uh, let's see. That would be 120, 136 strength would be needed. So we'd have to level up our strength a bit more. Uh, and then, yeah, this one is 110 strength. It's a heavy weapon as well. So that's that's next. So you, you can see, these are the three May 2 blades, I think. These three over here that we're going to be using uh, first on our heavy weapon wielders. Whenever they level up far enough. But, of course, they're not quite there. And this one is, unfortunately, 30 kilos. Otherwise, I would give it to other mobile brink as a secondary. You know, instead of Atachi, because it's a hacker or Miva, but they're both quite over encumbered. So we really need to get everybody up. Everybody up, then we get them limbs like uh, this thing. You know, you give them two of these. You know, you give them two of these, and their strength is gonna be it's gonna be going up there. So yeah, it's gonna be great. For now, though, I think this is where we're gonna finish the episode. We have some beds, finally. I'm quite happy with that. We're gonna be doing some more research. Slowly but surely. And otherwise, in the next episode, you guys know what we're doing, right? We are hunting for a legendary freaking weapon. Once again, I'm so excited to do this again. It's been it's been a while. And I've no idea what kind of a weapon we'll get, so it's it's really cool that we're doing this. And I'm I'm very happy that we finally found those guys that we that we wanted to find. Steve, don't forget to drop your weapons in here. And Let's not forget to bring bolts with us this time around, right? So we'll grab bolts for the next run. Some of these. Let's get that. Alright. Well, legendary weapon in our future. We're all gonna get it. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click that notification bell below if you'd like to see more from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. For now... I have no idea who's fighting over here, but oh, it's rebel farmers. Okay, for now, go out.